to the high-profile event that draws celebrities, politicians, and journalists from across the spectrum. Trump, of course, has strained relations with the press during his campaign trail, and even in the White House, he has called journalists the enemy of the people and has frequently criticized reporters and outlets whose coverage he did not like. The Reporters Guild is planning to go ahead with its April 29 dinner despite Trump's absence. The Washington event draws movie stars, politicians, and business leaders to hear a humorous speech by the sitting president. Early on Friday, the White House, in an off-camera briefing, excluded several major U.S. news organizations, including some it had criticized. Reporters for CNN, The New York Times, Politico, The Los Angeles Times, and BuzzFeed were not allowed into the session of the press secretary, Son Spicer. The decision drew strong protests. But as you saw throughout the entire campaign, and even now, the fake news doesn't tell the truth. And I want you all to know that we are fighting the fake news. It's fake, phony, fake. A few days ago, I called the fake news the enemy of the people, and they are. They are the enemy of the people. America is known for its democratic traditions. What Mr. Trump is doing is basically against the democratic thinking. And if the American president decides to uh, ban or avoid the media uh, from his press conference, that is a tragedy of the American democracy. In the later escalation of his war on the media, Donald Trump has announced that he will skip annual correspondent dinner that is traditionally being addressed by the U.S. presidents. Now, this move comes after the U.S. president barred several news organizations from covering a White House press briefing, denouncing them as fake ones. Now, many critics are saying that this stance of Donald Trump is actually damaging American democracy. However, still remains to see when Donald Trump and media will come at good terms. In New Delhi, this is Rahul Gautam with Vijay Narendra for NewsX. You know, this is indeed unprecedented here. The U.S. president deciding to boycott a state dinner. I think this is the first time it's happened in the United States history. Uh, what really are the implications of it? Well, that's right. This is the growing intolerance against media that one can witness in the United States of America. President Donald Trump is uh, not only uh, lo looking at boycotting press, but also ensuring that there is only certain uh, 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 certain media houses that are entertained by the White House. Now, this certainly goes to show that there is a huge problem when it comes to uh, when it comes to tolerating criticism and allowing criticism in a country such as the United States of America, where uh, presidents have been made fun of, where presidents have been asked very tough questions. It all stopped after those uh, very tough questions and fact checks done by reporters in uh, press, Donald Trump's uh, press conferences, after which now we see that there is an absolute boycott of all those media houses that ask tough questions to a president who is known as the beacon of the free world. So, Gita, can we understand that Trump is hell-bent on remaining tough against the media? One of the most suspicious uh, nights for journalists is uh, dining with the president. Again, that's also a very important uh, event that takes place in the United States of America, where we have standards to meet to come, make part of the president or the current administration, uh, take, uh, take jibes at the president. Uh, it seems like President Donald Trump, by deciding to boycott this, uh, attending this, uh, uh, this, this uh, uh, press forum, uh, clearly shows that there is no tolerance that he's going to show when it comes to not just the press corps, but also the fact that these events allow space to criticize, to exercise one's right, to uh, question the government and question the president, which he certainly is not, uh, which is not an area that Donald Trump is familiar with, and is an area that Donald Trump would not want himself to be familiarized with, is the reason why we see he's taken a very tough stance, a very tough stand when it comes to the press, and it seems like that is going to continue for some time, or maybe even past since if, if he does not learn the better way of handling press.